Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be showing you this set. <laughs> now, will you learn things in this video? I think so. Will you be happy with me in this video? I think not. But look, I'm here. We're here. This It's spring flowers. Yeah. So, just don't thumbs me down. Just tell me about myself in the comments, but don't thumbs me down. So, I did my mom's fill and everything. I never intended to record that part. And some other stuff didn't get recorded also. So, it's already filled, filed, shape. I'm using, um, I'm doing acrylic flowers. I'm using Valentino Beauty Pure Acrylic Powder. I was going to use these three different colors. The green and the two, like the neon coral and the hot pink, but look <laughs> so i started off bad um this set took much longer than it should have um i thought i had a plan and i didn't um just put the eye rolling emoji down below while i tell you my excuses so right then i was wrong the wrong finger that finger was supposed to be blinged out and she's like um man <laughs> of course these are my mom's nails so I'm using this 3D brush I've been having since before I was even a licensed nail tech. I got it from, I believe, Nail Supply Glamour many years ago. It doesn't have a brand and I just use it. So I had this vision of like these very nude nails. These are very nude, close to her skin tone, but very nude nails and just pops of like bright color and like just straight crystal AB bling. Like that's what I had in my head. Don't know how I exactly want to execute that. No. So I'm starting off and um, I don't know what I thought I was doing. We had some inspiration, but I wasn't really using nothing. I thought I could wing it off the top of my head and I'm just not that good. So as I build this little 3D flower, it turns, I don't even know what kind of flower this was supposed to be. It started looking like a poinsettia. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but let's talk about the actual 3D work. When you're working with 3D and this is not an in-depth video on it, you see how I'm placing the bead. This is sped up, but when you place the bead, you don't want it too wet too dry just like when you're working with acrylic traditionally um but when you set it you want to let it dry up just a little bit start to go matte how much you want to do that sometimes depends on the actual design what you're looking to do sometimes you could stand to use it a little wetter or a little drier but mostly you don't want to have it too too wet so generally speaking i place the bead and wait a few seconds and then work with it now this is what was happening and i was like no that looks stupid <laughs> so i wanted to get that off <laughs> immediately so i used the nippers and just clip that off and um i just want to also say when you're doing 3d work i urge you to top coat first whether it be shiny or matte um please don't top coat over your 3d work it's ugly i don't even know how to <laughs> I know that's an opinion, but it's a, a fact of an opinion. <laughs> it's just ugly. <laughs> um, you can always top coat around it, but it's much more difficult. So I urge you to top coat first. I like to top coat first, cure it, and put a little um, Young Nails Protein Bond just to help that adhesion. Um, so I just like to put a little bit of that on top of the top coat underneath this. So I decided to do these little simple flowers, what kind they are. I don't really know, but I use the little AB crystal in the center. That helps me because I have a hard time making flowers, you know. So put the stone in the middle and five petals around, and that really helped me. On the other nails, um, I'm doing just this simple bling work, as you can see. I didn't capture me doing any of the leaves. The leaves were just tiny little beads, and I just kind of pulled them out a little bit. Um, but this is how simple this bling was. Just... I wanted to keep the bling, um, of course, vertical on the nail. Really simple. I didn't even want to do beadwork. Just, I just had a, a vision in my head of what I wanted to do. Something simple with some impact and then bright, nude, boom. So I'm using the a Light Elegance Buttercream, um, the holographic one. It, it's actually a butter bling. So I applied that to the nail, cured it. I wiped off any it doesn't really have a bunch a really bad not bad it doesn't have much of a tacky layer so i wiped it off and i'm buffing the surface just so we have some texture and i'm making sure my shape is nice and good i we want the stiletto to stay stiletto -y. so this part i really want to show you guys i'm excited to show you the reason being is because i'm tired of seeing people 
and I try not to judge people, you know, everybody's a different place in their journey. But please watch this if you're having difficulty with blinging out stiletto nails. Not that this is the perfect, I'm the perfect stiletto blinger on earth. But just check this out. One, I like to use resin, especially on the tip of a stiletto. Um, I've done it hybrid where I use like a resin glue on the tip and I fill the rest in with like a crystal gel. For this nail, I used all resin just so you know and on the other bling nails i did too but the secret to this um one you want to keep your shape intact you want to have small crystals and a lot of colors don't come in the smaller sizes i'm talking about like a ss3 um you can get clear a b that i know of in those so usually i like to opt for like a, a mix of crystals um if i can if somebody's like i want a blue bling well let's do like a clear and blue if we can you know just because especially if you have that sharp if you were doing an almond nail you have a little bit of a curve and a little more space but since this is such a sharp stiletto we don't so we want as small a crystal as possible but the thing is you don't want to stick it on the very 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 tip move it back a little bit so the actual shape of the stiletto can still come through that point can show and um that makes it important to have a coordinating um, gel color underneath which is why I use this silver holographic color so you're getting sparkle you're getting something eye-catching and it's not technically the bling but it doesn't look like you're missing the bling you know what I mean and the next key point I could tell you is refrain from putting the crystals too far on the actual edge you want this to look like a full bling nail true enough but do we need to f bling every single last inch of this nail no we need to get a beautiful silhouette especially if you take bigger crystals the biggest crystal i'm using here is a size 12 so it's from a size 3 and a size to a size 12 i'm using it pretty much i'm using many sizes in between so you can see i like to go in as i move up and through the middle of the nail i like to use the bigger bling um just because it refracts more light it looks blingier so when i can use bigger stones i will but you need to have that mix so you can fit different sizes and make it not look too bulky so as i'm moving towards the edge and up in closer areas of course i'm using smaller stones and really look at this you can see i'm not applying i'm going to go through and fill the actual perimeter just a little bit more once i move up this is generally how i like to bling out stilettos from the tip up any other shape nail i mean like coffin square i'll do almonds tip up too just because they're so similar um any other bling nail <laughs> for some reason i like to go cuticle down but because I need to make sure that the stiletto shape is stiletto -y, okay? <laughs> so I need to get that and gather that together first. And usually the tip is mixed, like I start the at the very tip is a size three. Then we do two fives next to each other. And then I'm going up from there, usually like maybe a seven, then two fives and two threes. And then where I can get my nines and my twelves in, I do. So you can see I'm moving around this edge with smaller crystals. The smaller crystals have a less high of a point, so they won't look as bulky as you're moving to that actual edge of the nail. And I only go so far down the edge, and if you look, the actual literal edge of the nail is just gel. It's not bling, because again, we don't want to bulk this out. We want it to look full, but we don't want it to look bulky. So you need to strategize which crystals go where. And like I said, these smaller crystals have a less high point, so they don't look like they're bulking it out as much. If I tried to fill with a big size 12 on the edge, you would just see, because it's so literally tall, it would just stick out the side and it would just bulk the nail up. So as you're moving around the perimeter, I suggest that you use smaller stones, no matter what you're doing. Of course, there's exceptions to the rules, but you can see, this is our final bling and if you notice the very literal edge like i said it, it doesn't have any crystals on it and we still kept this looking like a beautiful sharp stiletto and this video seems more about doing a full bling stiletto nail than anything else so you know what oh, let's give a thumbs up for that right i know you're mad at me don't be mad at me don't do the thumbs down okay y'all please don't just forgive me okay <laughs> so um i am top coating like i said before i do my 3d work i'm using daily charms um they're no wipe top coat i think it's called diamond something diamond shine or something like that look y'all know the drill use code tabitha and the number 10 it's gonna be in the description bar 
and you can get 10% off. It's an unlimited code. You can use it today, tomorrow, the next day, as long as Daily Charm will have me as one of their ambassadors. So always check them out. <laughs> so around the stones, once the um, resin is dry, then I'm going ahead and I'm sealing around the crystals in my top coat. Please feel free. Um, you know, you never want to top coat over your crystals. So in those tight areas, you can take a brush with a little tinier brush with top coat if you know need be i was able to get around them pretty well with this um brush the bling wasn't too detailed so i did but if it's difficult for you of course bust out that little brush you guys see me do that a million times so seal the edges of the crystals in don't top coat over the crystals top coat around them get that edge get that lip just to secure them on there one thing i didn't do um in doing this i put that crystal in the center with the resin I should have honestly did it this way. I should have on a, the nail without any top coat. I should have glued the crystal. Then um, where I want it is kind of be hard to do depending because I did multiple flowers, I believe, on this nail. But anyways, if I would have thought about it or I could have still seal. I didn't seal around these stones and I thought the acrylic would do a good enough job sealing around it. It didn't, <laughs> and just you know, FYI, I'm look, I'm good, but I'm not perfect. Okay, so <laughs> that's why I told my mom. She's like, "Up oh, my stone." She had lost a couple, but you know, that's I'm, I'm gonna tell you so you can do better. Seal around these center stones, cause I didn't. I thought I was gonna make it, but anyways, I don't show a lot of me making these flowers, but you can kind of see the technique. I just put five petals around the center stone. I think the center stone is like a size seven or something like that. So you can see I'm putting the bead, letting it dry. This is sped up twice the speed. So I let it dry a little, kind of moved it off that stone, moved it around. Um, as I'm manipulating it right now, when I initially did it, it was a little too wet still, but I just kind of backed off for a second. And now it's a little bit firmer. I'm able to press down. This is a very easy flower design, honestly. Honestly, um, I would say if you're unfamiliar with this try this flower design first and i think it'll be good. so this hand pose is how i feel about how much footage i got of this video <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sorry y'all me and my mom were talking i'm going just a slightly through it so y'all forgive me i enjoy y'all i appreciate y'all so very much so yeah <laughs> thank you for watching hopefully you learned a little something at least the bling nail at least a little something go ahead and if you will give me a little thumbs up put your, put the eye roll emoji we decided we'll give eye rolls today just because y'all are irritated with me but it's okay i um i'm a little down and out but i'm editing i'm editing and so i have videos for y'all and i have videos that have more footage for y'all but you know if you if you're not so mad at me you could put a little flower emoji because you know it's spring flowers of course but if you find yourself too mad at me go ahead put the little eye roll emoji you put the little mad emoji but either way i still know that you love me and i'll do better you know what i mean <laughs> but thank you for watching don't forget to thumbs up subscribe put the bell on so you know when i post upload but anyways thank you for watching have a beautiful day guys bye